welcome to PO class in today's video we're going to be talking about how to get the first second and third position in a class uh, if you are new to the channel please kindly remember to turn on the notification bell and hit on the subscribe button and also give, it, give this video a thumbs up thank you in today's video we are going to be looking at how to get the the first position, second position, and third position in a class. Okay, we want to rank the class, this, the position, the class by their position, the students by their position. So let's assume this is an exam, and these are the students' name which I used uh, uh, the initial to write up. The students' name, these are the scores in the given text or examination. So we want to obtain the first, second, and third position, aligning with their names. Now, if, before we do that, we're going to obtain the position of the students in the class. First of all, you obtain the position of the students in the class. And to do that, use a function called the rank function. The rank what function? So use equals to rank. So use the rank function. Now you're going to take the number, the first number in that particular score that you are interested in ranking. So you pick the first number, give it a comma, and you put a reference. Now the reference is for you to select the entire column of that particular scores. So when you take the reference, you pick all the scores, you take the scores, you will notice something. There's something we're going to do here. We're supposed to lock this reference, but I want to show you why you need to lock the reference first. Then we'll do that. Then comma, do you want to arrange it in descending or ascending order? Do you want it to be from the first position to the last position or from the last position to the first position? How do you want to do that? Ascending or descending? Rank number as if reference were a list sorted in descending order. Or do you want to rank it as if it's a list sorted in ascending order? So I'm going to just put in zero there. So you close the bracket and hit on your enter key. Once you do that, you're going to go back and drop, pick this down, drag, drag it down. Once you do that, you're going to get different positions. If you, have, if you observe, you're going to two first position, which is 87 and 34, and they are not equal. This is because you didn't lock your reference B2 to B7. You need to lock it. How do you lock the reference? To lock this reference, all you need to do is to hit the F4 on your keyboard. Once you do that, that's been locked. It's on your enter key. Now, once you've done that, you need to re, re, re select the colon again, drag it down to make effect in all of them. You can see that if I change anything here, let's say I change this to 97 and hit or enter, you're going to see that it's going to reflect. If I change this to 54, you see it on the enter key, it reflects. You can see that. You can see that that is how you do it. If I change this again to maybe um, 89, you see that it's going to hit the enter key, it reflects. You can see that if I change this to maybe 77, the enter key you see the reflection you can see that so you can see how the positions have been gotten so let's assume because of the formula you've used any changes you make here it affects if i decide to add another person maybe later let's say letter uh letter q if i decide to add letter q here uh and maybe i add um, a score of um, let's say 79 and uh Okay, come down here, I'll drag it down. Okay, I think I missed something. So. Okay, you can see that we didn't, uh, the reason is because here that will lock, I didn't drag this one down, so I need to actually drag here down. So from this, I'm going to highlight it back and come over here and select it up to that place. And you hit on your F4 again. You can see that, so once I click on enter, it has effect now, you can see that. You can see that so have the first position to be U, second position to be N, third position to be K, and fourth position to be what Q. So we've seen that that any effect we need to change whatever we've done before. So let's obtain the first. We want to obtain the top four, top three positions. To obtain the top three positions, to obtain the top three position, top three students. We're going to put in one. First student we need, second student name, we need the third student name. So all I'm going to do is to come here and use two functions. The two functions we are going to be using at this point is called the, the index function and the what? The match function. The index function and the match function. So here I'm going to, I'm going to use the index function equals sign index. 
So you see that the index returns a value or reference of the cell at the intersection of a particular row and column. Here, the index function or oh, index index function. I think there is something wrong with this, but we're gonna get it. Index function. So you're gonna select what you want to index, the names of the students you want to align. So you come over here and select all the names of the students. Now you are in, you're supposed to lock it. You're gonna lock it by pressing what? F4. So once you hit the F4, it's been locked, okay? Comma, then you're gonna type in match. We we'll use the match to what? Match, it returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specified value. So we're going to return it to what? Return this, we want to get the, the item that match this first position, second position, and third position using this match to match it. So we're going to use match. Okay. Um, you select the first position. The first position is F. This is F1, F2. The first position is in F2. So I will type in F2 because uh, that has covered what I want to do. F2. So you can see that. F2. So comma. So you're going to select again the positions that you got previously. These are the positions. So I'll select it down. Now these positions are selected down. I need to lock the position as well. If I don't lock the position, you're going to get a wrong value. But let's see. Let me show you. Okay. Comma. Do you want the exact match or greater than the exact match by one or less than by one? I want the exact match. So I want the exact match. So I'll close the bracket. I'll close the bracket. Close the bracket. Once I close the bracket, I hit on what? Enter. Okay, we can see that. Okay. Wait a minute. We locked it. Okay, match. Uh huh. F2, D2, 8. Okay, we didn't close the bracket wise. If you look at it, we need to close the bracket wise. Okay. Um, Look at it. You get it. The first bracket, the second bracket, you need to close it. So that's what happened. I didn't close the bracket. So hit or enter. Now, if I drag this down, you're going to see it's going to give you a wrong answer. You can see W is fifth position. K is a third position. You can see that. Reason is because you didn't lock your what? You didn't lock this array. So you need to lock arrays. Whenever you're using the arrays, you need to lock it by using pressing what F4. So once I've done that, hit on what enter. Now you can see that you get everything correctly. So the first position is U, second position is N, and the third position is what K. You can see that. So if you want to get more position, you can do that by adding fourth, fifth, second, and third, uh, fifth, sixth, and seventh, and its position, ninth position, and so on and so forth. So this is how we can do it. Look at the formula index. You select the the names and lock it. Comma match match it with this the first position. Comma the positions available. Then the exact match. Close the first bracket. Then you close the what the earlier bracket. You can see that black black red red you close all the brackets so this is how you can obtain your match first to third position using the rank index and match word function thank you see you some other time